shall not forsleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trumpet. was absolutely brilliant, or should I say, that was absolutely brilliant. Very um, you obviously really enjoy singing this piece. I love the piece. It's a timeless story. It's very uplifting and, uh, and on a religious 
kind of note. It's just, it's just a wonderful uh, example of the Messiah, of, of him coming, which is great for this area. You were brought up as a Christian, weren't you? I was, very much so, on the Pacific Islands in New Zealand, where I'm from. It's a very p important part of our heritage. It's a very important part of daily life, and so I take this kind of music very seriously. Oh, so it's an added bonus for you, in a way? It is. It's great. You know, singing is what I do, but to be able to sing this kind of music with this kind of meaning and the kind of text that's involved, it's beautiful. Can I ask you, what do you actually think about when you're performing a piece like that on the platform? Oh, I think of a lot of things. Words, notes, <laughs> note lengths. Um, <laughs> but is there, is, there, is there a connection between you and God, if you like? I'd like to think so. I'd like to think, I mean, the recitative in itself, I think, is one of the most beautiful moments for the bass in this piece. And um, it shows a real tenderness before the kind of the triumphant feeling of the trumpet coming through and showing this wonderful revelation of his, his rebirth in a way. Um, but I, I do feel a, a personal a, a kind of connection, which is lovely, and it makes me feel like close to the gods, maybe a bit cliche, but I really feel like, you know, I'm one of the, the many that's, that's revering him. Uh, when did you start singing? I started as a boy soprano and as a treble in New Zealand, and uh, my parents dragged me along to... Uh, to some auditions that I did there, and I was hooked ever since. It's the, the storytelling nature of the music and the things like the Messiah, which, you know, the, the words on their own are, are great, but when you set them to wonderful music, it's even more special. If you had a choice of any oratorio to sing, uh, would Messiah be up there? I think it is, actually. It's, it's hard work, it's a hard piece, but it's so gratifying for not just the solos, but chorus and orchestra, and I feel it's a great ensemble piece to get stuck into. And would you recommend young people sing this piece? I, th I think it's great. I mean, uh, you know, it's catchy, it's, uh, it's relevant. Um, so many things that the story depicts is, are things that we can, we can relate to in, in life today, which I think is... Oh, you think people can relate Messiah to life today? I think so. You know, sometimes you have to look at it and, and study it. But I think the essence of it is, is very relevant today. And uh, what do you think of our chorus today? I think they're very special, and there's a lot of them, and they make a really good noise. It's great. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Lamarlin.